2013 student here at Haley Burial Mati. Today we're going to look closer at the life of MIT students who we were pleased to welcome in the beginning of this year here in our school. Let's go! lessons right now because they're doing an internship here and part of their internship they're teaching year sevens year eights and year nines and we're gonna spy on them a bit I think the first one we're gonna see is Joanna she's a fourth year student at MIT from Bulgaria she's teaching aerospace physics hello sorry I am a fourth year student in MIT studying aerospace engineering as an international student from Bulgaria in MIT. I think for high school it is very important that you kind of have a very strong basis for everything you learn after and that can be your actual scientific knowledge about different subjects from uh, history to chemistry but you also are gonna have some basic knowledge about how do you uh, go about your day? How do you study best? Uh, how to take care of yourself? All of those things are very important to start building while you're in high school. Okay, so now we're gonna go into Yossi's classroom. He's also a fourth year student at MIT, originally from Ethiopia, I think, and he's teaching material sciences. Let's go. They will be doing an interesting experiment today. Hi, I'm Yossius. I am a fourth year at MIT studying uh, material science and electrical engineering. I'm a double major. And I'm originally from Ethiopia. I moved to the United States in the south to Atlanta, Georgia when I was 10, and then moved up to Boston when I was ready for college. And uh, I've been wanting to go to MIT, especially in high school. Did a lot of chemistry competitions and was really into science. And here I am in my fourth year, almost finishing up my undergrad studies. I studied in uh, Atlanta, Georgia in this magnet school uh, called the Gunat, Science, Gunat School of Mathematics, Science and Technology. As the name suggests, it's a lot of the students there are really into math and science and that's where I think I developed my passion for chemistry, although I had it innately when I used to play with fire when I was a kid. There is quite an accurate analogy, I would say, that studying at MIT, going to school at MIT is like drinking from a fire hose. That basically means that there's so many things going on in life that a lot of times I think students have trouble balancing them. So there's you know, academics, there's social life, there's clubs, just a vast variety of things going on. The process of getting accepted, uh, there's sort of three categories you should focus on. The first one being just having good academics, you know, having good scores in classes, and then also just good standardized test scores. A lot of top schools use that as a minimum benchmark. Look at a select group of students in which first they may look at a specific set of skills that you have. So for me, it was chemistry and, and languages. I was really into foreign languages. And even the two recommendation letters that I got were from my chemistry teacher and from my science, sorry, from my Spanish teacher. And so having something that you're really passionate about and you've done competitions and you can show that you are passionate about those subjects is really helpful. It was my second time seeing this experiment and it was as amazing as for the first time. So jealous of this classroom. I would say studying in MIT is always fun and challenging. One day you have all classes and you study all day and you're preparing for exam. Uh, the next day you and your friends get together in a car and kind of try to explore around for a farm where you can just pick up um, some apples or, or something. It is different every day and it is very supportive environment. Everyone in MIT is always trying to help you and find how they can make the experience better for you. So I'm very happy to be there. And the last sort of step is showing that you are a human, that you 
have a lot of experiences throughout your high school life and even before that would contribute to you being a good member of that college's community. So a good way to do this is through your essays. One really cool thing that I did is I incorporated my Ethiopian heritage to chemistry. So there's this dish that is sort of the staple, the staple bread of Ethiopia called injera. And it has a very complicated uh, process of making. So you have to ferment the grain and everything. And I was able to incorporate that into my essay by basically talking about the chemistry of making injera while also talking about the culture and helping my grandma, you know, mix the, the dough and everything. And so colleges, admission of, admissions officers really look for that um, well roundedness. It's sort of a holistic process, as you would call it. Joanna and Iwasius worked hard four years ago when they were high school seniors and they got into their dream school, which means you can do it too. Stay tuned for the final thoughts of MIT students on Almaty and our school in general and thank you for watching us.